What the tech? Hey guys, this is Rich, and today on What the Tech, we're going to take a look at how to do a mod to your gearbox to make it quick and easy to get into your Inferno. Alright guys, so here's the mod uh, that we're talking about. Um, as you can see, we've removed the back portion of the gearbox here. This, uh, without doing anything, gives us access to our solenoid here, so we can uh, remove the solenoid in case you get uh, dirt or debris in there and need to clean it out. You should always use an FGL to prevent that from happening. In addition to that, if you just remove these two screws, this will give you access to the unit itself. Pop that off. You can see now you can just pull the unit out and do whatever uh, service or maintenance you need to do. Alright, so we got our gearbox here. We removed it from the gun, obviously. And we're going to take a look at how to how to do this modification. Before we get into it, I'm going to say there's two parts to the modification. You may choose to do both, or you may choose to do just one, depending on you know, what you're trying to accomplish. The first part is to remove this window section here so that you can take that half of the gearbox off without taking it out of the gun. In order to do that, we're going to make a cut right along this line, and then we're going to bring it over right to about there and down. This cut is only going to be made on this side of the gearbox. Do not cut both sides of the gearbox or it's going to be completely disconnected. You're using the back side now to hold everything together and this just holds the unit into the gearbox. Make sure you make the cut behind this uh, screw hole position because we're going to be using the top screws here in order to hold, th hold this piece on. So I make sure you cut behind that position there and just going to bring it straight down, bring it over, and bring it down. I'm going to show how to make that cut here in a couple minutes. Uh, you're going to want a Dremel with a cutoff blade and we'll, we'll show how to do that. The second part of the modification that you can do is to remove the back portion of the gearbox. Now if you do this on most guns, the, the buffer tube adapter piece will no longer fit inside the gearbox. It will just fit inside the receiver and sit right here up against the receiver itself when the, the stock screws on. However, on some guns, for instance, this is a, a BG Airsoft platform, the buffer tube doesn't screw on with the buffer tube adapter anyway, so it's no issue at all to just remove that. Alternatively, actually a little better than just using the buffer tube adapter screw is if you go down to your local hardware store and pick up an M5 nut and washer and put that inside if you if you want to do that. So in order to do that, we are going to cut and we're going to make the same cut on the back side here. Just line this up. Cut it, cut it, get, cut it. And we're going to make that cut on the back side of the gearbox as well as the front side. You need to cut it. We're going to bring the cut from the back over just above that screw position there. There are enough screws on the bottom that this is, screw position is not super critical, but we prefer to keep it if we can. We're gonna make that same cut on the back side of the gearbox as well. All right, so those are our cuts. Let's go ahead and take this over to our cutting station and we'll, we'll show you how it's done. All right, so we're over here, got set up in the vise. Uh, I will say if you have access to a bandsaw, you could do this a whole lot quicker and easier. But like with all of our tech videos, we like to do things with the simplest tools we can because not everybody has a bandsaw. So we're going to show you how to do it with the Dremel and the cutoff wheel. I'm going to go ahead and make the back cuts uh, first in this case. And I'm going to do that with the gearbox together so we can make it look as pretty as possible. Uh, as pretty as you can with the Dremel anyway. Vacuum cleaner to suck up the chips. And definitely wear safety glasses anytime you're Dremeling. So let's give it a go. Alrighty, so we got the first cut done. You can see both halves are cut here. Now we're going to go ahead and do the second cut to take the this front portion of the cylinder off. So we are just about done here. Got all the cuts made. All I'm doing now is taking a small uh, file and just just deburring the edges, making sure we don't have any sharp edges that'll cut us or cut the wiring or airline or anything like that. Should be about good. Take and blow it off and we should be set. Alrighty, so we got this uh, back in the body here, just mocked up, just to kind of show you how this is done. Again, this is our piece here. Uh, you kind of put it in 
forward a little bit, drop right in like that. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take your screws here, put those in, one, two, three, and you're good to go. We even just sometimes do one at the front and back. Uh, it should hold it in place uh, plenty tight. It's not like a gearbox where there's lots of load on the system at this point. Really all it's doing is just uh, holding the unit steady. And again, as you can see, you can need to, you can valve out. And again, if you're doing this with a stock that the buffer tube has this, the thread that goes into the, the back of the gearbox, you'll need to take the buffer tube adapter and it will fit uh, right there. This is another advantage in order to get to the gearbox. You don't have to take off the buffer tube, don't have to do any of that. You literally just pop this off, don't have to mess with the electronics, just unplug the electronics, pop this off, and you can get right to your, uh, right to your unit. I hope that was helpful, guys. Please do be careful. You are making modifications to your system. While it's not, as you can see by the fact that this is not exactly a perfectly straight cut there, it's not what we would call extremely critical to as far as uh, where you make the cuts, but if you really do it the wrong way, you can mess stuff up. Please be careful. If you're not comfortable doing it, take it to your local tech. You can uh, check out wolverineairsoft.com. We have a, a page that shows you where all our dealers are. And maybe ask them whether they can do it for you. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope this was helpful. Uh, leave us any comments or questions or suggestions for uh, future What the Tech videos uh, in the comments below. And we'll see you guys out on the field.